Hi. Okay, so I wanted to talk today about how, oh, first of all, if you're used to really happy uh, broadcast, you might not want to listen to this because this is a, a very bitter diatribe rant against Disney and Hollywood and how they fucked it up for the rest of us. I, I don't know if it's like, it's, if, 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 if they've managed to subconsciously find a way to instill in all of the women that Prince Charming's out there and he's going to show up on this big white horse and save you from everything. Hon, come on. Come in closer. Listen to me. Prince Charming doesn't exist. He's not out there. He ain't coming on a horse. And if he is coming on a horse, it's a dead one. Let's discuss the fact that every Disney movie has some sort of fallen... Oh, woman. Well, the earlier ones, anyway. Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella. It's all about a man coming to the rescue. I mean, you know, later movies, Finding Nemo and Toy Story and those other ones have grown past that sort of formula that they used to use. Um, but it seems even in movies, I mean, Angelina Jolie is one of the only actresses out there that actually rescues the guy. And... Uh, and that's awesome. It's, it's great. Don't get me wrong. It's amazing. But to only have one woman out there rescuing all the men, honey, she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. But she's only one woman. So let's think if there really is a Prince Charming out there and there's only one woman out there rescuing everyone, well, then it sort of stands to say that there's maybe only one guy out there rescuing everyone. And honey, if there is, he's already taken by somebody else who is luckier than you. I think that we, as a society, we think that this is the norm, that, you know, there is a Prince Charming, there is only one person for me, uh, and all that other stuff. And look, it's true. I, I know in my current relationship that right now, there is only one person for me. I love my fiance more than anything in the world. However, that's my now. That's my moment here in this place. Five years ago, he wasn't. Where was he? Where was he while I was struggling? Hello, he wasn't here. And I want to see some guy ride a horse down the middle of fucking King Street with, a, with, a, with armor on who isn't an extra in a movie. Try and come and rescue me because I fell on the ground. It ain't going to happen. Wake the fuck up. Uh, life is at its best and at its worst incredibly complicated. If you are not willing to put in 250% into everything you do, work, relationships, school, everything, family, well, honey, get down off the cross because somebody needs the wood. Stop your bitching. Prince Charming ain't coming to you. You got to go out there and find him. You got to get yourself your own man. He's not coming to you. I, I think that truly, I think that Hollywood and these Disney movies, I think they just completely and utterly fucked it up for everybody. Because you expect Prince Charming to be a certain way. And he should act a certain way. A man should act a certain way. When a guy becomes insecure, you're like, oh wait, hold up. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to be insecure. When a guy gets jealous, oh, hold up. You're not supposed to get jealous, right? But I think that that's, that's what's ingrained in us to believe that a guy shouldn't be jealous and he shouldn't be insecure because he's the man. He should be secure in the fact that you love him, he loves you, and this is your relationship, and it, it works together. Uh, but that's not always the case. You don't always find a guy who is secure in the relationship because, you know, maybe he was fucked over in the past. Maybe he was screwed over by some ex-girlfriend or an ex-boyfriend, perhaps. I mean, if you're dating a bisexual... It's not a bad thing. But that's just this, the way it is. And you have to sort of come to terms with that in, in the essence of your relationship. Because if you don't, then you're screwed. You're screwed. Your relationship will never, ever flourish or go anywhere because you will be so busy worrying about how it should look 
how it should feel, you're going to miss out on so many things. You're not going to get it. You're not going to understand where any of it's coming from. Uh, I... I'm, I'm discussing this because last night I was coming home and three guys tried to pick me up on the street. Like, they were together. It was really funny. And the line that they used on me was... Because, I look, I saw them coming. They were good lucky guys. No doubt in my mind. You know, any other person, I'm sure, who wasn't engaged and wasn't in love would have been like, I'm totally in. And uh, I looked at them and I was like, why? How on earth did you guys not pick up in Hell's Village? You're all good looking guys. And the guy turned around and you know what he said to me? Because we were waiting for you. Honey, I looked at him and I said, no wonder you didn't pick up if you use lines like that. And I thought it would be funny to tell Alex. I truly did. I thought that he would find it really funny. Well, he didn't. He got really upset. And, well, his insecurity about our relationship uh, sort of shown through all of that. And I get it. You know, he's been hurt in the past. I've been hurt in the past. Uh, our past, you know, has come to bite us in the ass a couple of times, both of us. But I thought when you got engaged, when you get engaged, that's your, okay, I love this person enough that whatever happened before this moment is history. And now whatever happens now is, is us. This is us together. And, um, well, Apparently not, because stuff from the past was brought up, and it sort of made me realize that uh, maybe the sort of dynamic there needs to be sort of worked on a little more, because I think I should be able to go to my fiancé and tell him that some guy tried to pick me up with a really cheesy line, because I think it's funny. And he should be able to come to me and say the same thing. Yes, we're both going to be whatever, but, I mean, let's not make a big scene out of it. Relationships don't look the way they do in Hollywood. It's not this or that. Why can't it be everything all at once? Why can't it be the chaos and the serene together? Why does it have to be so simple and so a guy rescues the girl, the girl falls in love, and that's the end of the story? Honey, they don't tell you that Cinderella was stuck in a kitchen barefoot and pregnant. They don't tell you that shit. Sleeping Beauty was woke up to clean the house. Uh, think about it. I mean, even Snow White, when she was in that house with the dwarves, she cleaned the house, didn't she? Hello? It's all about rescuing the woman and her cleaning up after you. Anyway, I, it's, I just, ugh, I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated because I think that, I think that when you tell someone you love them and you want to marry them, that, that's it. I don't want to be with anyone else. Yes, I flirt. I've always flirted. I will admit that that's probably one of the worst things that I ever do is because I flirt with everyone, guy or girl. It's just, it's in my nature. Uh, I don't go out having sex with everyone. I, I don't do any of that kind of stuff. I just, I'm flirtatious. I've always been flirtatious. Um, but yeah, it's... Relationships are tricky. They're, they're hard and... I think that you you have to learn to be more secure in them in order to realize that there might be a Prince Charming there. It's just, he's not going to look the way you think he is. There might be a Sleeping Beauty or a Cinderella or a princess somewhere, and she's possibly not going to look the way you think she is. You just got to learn to be happy with things, and you got to learn to laugh at everything. Because you hope that in life, you find someone who makes you laugh more than he makes you cry, or she makes you laugh more than she makes you cry. But you have to be open to the suggestion of laughing. You have to be open to the suggestion of having a good time and having a humorous time and laughing at Disney and all that other bullshit that makes you think that you should have this, this, and 2.5 kids and blah, 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 blah. You gotta learn to laugh a little, honey. Everybody does. Peace.